this mural festival that we're doing right now is really pushing the envelope on our communities. This is art on a scale they are not used to. Counting every second till the sun goes down. Heartbeats buzzing to the neon sound. Whoa, whoa, whoa. This is really an innovative thing. It's the first mural festival in New York State that's one county, nine villages. So we're pretty proud of that. Public artwork is an essential building block in economic development and quality of place. And so this is a really nice way for the Grow Live Co arm and the tourism arm of Livingston County to come together and work towards that end. Public art is helpful in that it interrupts the normalcy, causes us to stop and think, what is that there for? Is that a moment of beauty, uh, of something that challenges us to think differently? But it is a necessary interruption to the sort of day-in, day-out patterns of our lives. I think it's this idea of fine art that is accessible to have something so large and so beautiful and so well executed, something that you can interact with, that you can go up and touch or stand in front of. Most people don't get to experience art in that way in their day-to-day -day life, and I think murals bring art down to earth. Come on, come on. I really like painting in small cities and I really believe in the power of the street art in small cities, how this can change it. I get excited and that's, that's how everything starts. We're making such an impact here in Livingston County. I've participated in quite a few mural festivals before, but this one is special because it's countywide. So every mural is in a different town and so there's like a different flavor to each one and there's a lot more programming and folks are really excited about it and they ask really poignant questions and it's just a little bit more involved than say your typical mural festival in Waikiki, Honolulu or somewhere that it's sort of, people are just used to seeing it. You go to Brooklyn and New York, you could drive a mile down the street and you could see 10 or 12 different artists painting murals because art is always happening. People are, they're used to it and they put their blinders on. But in towns like this, people can't help but stop and notice because it's a new thing. They get a little bit more of a raw excitement, which is really cool. We knew that we wanted to foster local talent as much as we wanted to bring in internationally renowned artists. So we created the Livco Walls Apprentice Program and allowed for local artists to apply to participate as helpers and assistants uh, to the muralists. A big reason why we do this is so that the local talent goes away with a new skill set, possibly building on the experience they've had. They move on to do their own murals or other public art within the community. So we knew that that program in itself would be a catalyst for more public art in Livingston County. I definitely enjoyed working with apprentices a lot, whether they be art teachers or local artists or students, um, it's a variety of people and it's great to get them involved and then they can learn how to make murals on their own from a little bit of this. Each community is learning something new about their town. So they've come together to talk about their history and what's important to them and then the artists have presented a vision back to them. And now that art is on their wall and so it's telling a story about that community. And, and the people in the community are learning that story and learning how to talk about it through the art. I think it's important that these murals do extend and reflect a community's character. I'll paint it, I'll design it, but I'll, I'll go back to my community. And so it's like, this is the room they live in. It needs to reflect the things that are important to them. It's amazing, again, like how, how communal everybody is and how proud people are. Everybody's on the same page and everybody carry, kind of carries this responsibility that we all got to, you know, put in to make this happen. So, you know, and it shows, it shows the unity of Livingston County. I think public art is important because the impact that it can create, like with um, just the regular person. Like, you can have a bad day, you see some artwork, you see some color, you know, it can take you up to the next level, you know, it can uplift your life, like put a smile on your face and stuff like that. 
like public art's most special when it's something like this, when uh, the community, in this case the county, decided to put up nine murals and get uh, people to gather around. Yeah, I mean, it says that they appreciate the arts and that it's a cool place to live and it's going to be even cooler now. I want to uh, say thank you all the people who was part of this festival and uh, all people who stopped by and say their appreciation. Working in a small town has been really rewarding because I feel like I can get to know everybody that's working on the project. They've welcomed me into their community and it's really like you can fall in love with like an entire community in a week. And it's, they're like love bombing you and I think it's just really special. Livco Walls puts Livingston County on the map as a destination for public art, for creatives of all kinds, for people who enjoy arts and culture in all forms.